A major storm is barreling towards Florida and the East Coast, and it has a lot of people worried. Hey everyone, Austin Ayers here, and I am gonna be one of the first ones to tell you, you don't need to worry about this storm. Yeah, it may look a little scary on your radar, and you may have found a lot of hypecaster on TikTok and YouTube trying to say that this is the next hurricane, AKA that, that's gonna be wiping out Florida. You know, you'll see a lot of people talk about prophecies that it will come from the sky and all of this. There is nothing to worry about with this system. So what we know is that this system is going to start in the Gulf of Mexico around Friday and Saturday. It will start to come into the Tampa side. So on the Gulf side of Florida and start to push its way north through the weekend and into Tuesday. Now, this is gonna impact from Florida the whole way up to Maine, uh, even out into portions of Eastern Ohio and Western Pennsylvania, down into Kentucky and Tennessee. Again, it's just, it's just rain. I don't know why a lot of people are freaking out about this, thinking that the world is coming to an end. You know, they, they cite the aurora, then they cite the meteor showers, now they're citing this. This is just your typical El Nino season. Uh, I have personally reviewed the GFS and the European models, and I'm not seeing anything that is like, oh my god, could it be up to and over an inch of rain per hour? Yes. Could low-laying areas that have previously flooded flood again? Yes. But... For the general everyday person, this is not a hurricane. This is not going to be tsunami-like waves. Trust me, I've seen a lot of content where people are saying, oh, we're gonna have 14 foot waves and all this. No, no. There's nothing to worry about whatsoever with this storm that is going to be impacting the East Coast. Now, Again, I know a lot of you, you guys love to follow certain people on social media, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not telling you not to do that. What I am going to tell you is that just take what they say and compare it with what other people, especially those who have been in weather. Look, I'm wearing a shirt from like 2016. This was back when weather ag was a, was a big thing, you know, weather patrol was a big thing. I was a systems administrator for them. I've been in this for almost, it's going on a decade here in, a, in a, about a year and a half. It'll be a decade that I've been doing the weather. And if I'm not panicking, if I'm not worrying, you don't need to worry either. Just being honest, guys.